favorite mentor here, Jeffrey Benson. So today, I just want to reaffirm, confirm this strategy to you guys again, that it still does work. That strategy is Fibonacci strategy. This strategy makes me $10,000 every month. Now I'm just going to take you to this chart, but before I do that, let me break it down to you guys, what it simply means. Fibonacci is a strategy that has been for a long time. In fact, there are Fibonacci in human, in plants, and every living thing there. But one thing that you guys have to know with this strategy is, with each strategy is you have to be faithful enough to stick to one. If you can stick to one and understand the patterns that one prints over and over and over and again, you guys will definitely be able to make money. So usually the problem with us trader is we are not consistent with one thing. We move from A to B most of the time when A is no longer working, all right? When we are facing difficulties, challenges, that's when those problems happens. So what I just want to encourage you is if this is your strategy, if this has been your strategy or it, was, it has been a part of your trading system, do not remove it. It is still working. And then I just want to show you how I use it to make $10,000. And for those who, is, who do not know about it before, I'm just going to be breaking it down to you. And then you can also go on your chart, replicate it or add it to your own trading system. It does work. Let me say more than 90% of the time. Let's go. All right. So here on the screen, it's pretty simple. I just want to show you guys how, where you can get the tool for Fibonacci. You just want to just keep doing it over and over again. And whenever you see with this pattern, always trade it anytime you see and on this level. So here, how do you get Fibonacci? Fibonacci tools are like, it's a tool that has levels. So we have levels that from 32.8, 50.0, 618. Uh, there are a lot of them, but where you can get them is when you click on this tiny icon, and you come to Fibonacci retracement, all right? So let me just print out. So I will just explain the levels before I move on. So you can see zero, zero, right? 0 0.23, that's 23.6 sometimes. 0 0.382, 0 0.5 is the same thing as 50, 618, 786, and all of that. But the levels I want to pay close attention to and I also love to look out for every now and then is the 50 level and then the 618. So this strategy, you're already just going to be looking at for 618 and the 50. That's all what you're just going to be looking at to do all the time, all right? So this is just me putting it randomly. I've not even put it on the chart. Now, how do you plot Fibonacci correctly? That's the number one question that probably might be in your head right now. So plotting Fibonacci, it's not so easy as most people would say, but to me, it's easy. After this class, you should be able to understand how it works. First, Fibonacci retracement tools work in a trending market, not in a consolidating market. The market has to have life in it. It has to be moving either upward or downward. All right. Usually, you know, market move in form of wave, right? So when price have this surge up move it does a correction move up does a correction move up does a correction move up so what fibonacci works is when you are probably here or maybe when price is here you want to know at which extent will this retracement get to before it continues upside so that's why the name is called fib retracement fibonacci retracement so it is to calculate this is a retracement so calculate the extent of a retracement so here is a retracement all right, retracement, and then this is an impulsive move because impulse is easier to catch. This one is sweeter. I mean, this, these moves are very, they are longer, 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 right? So you want to know when would this retracement end so that you can ride the move, all right? So that's where it comes. So now where we'll be employing it is there will be two criteria for you to be able to support Fibonacci levels. First, they have to be a low. This is a low, and then this is a high. This is a high. Yeah, low is a low, but it's higher than the previous low. Then this is a higher high, all right? Then this is a high, but it's a low, but it's higher than this previous low. So it's a higher low. Then this is a higher high, right? The higher high. Then this is a higher low. We keep having like that. So for you to perfectly draw your Fibonacci retracement, you will need to have a low and then a high. So you're going to start your Fibonacci, you start your point here, spread it out so that you get to the high and then you leave it. So anytime you'll be watching for price to come back to either the 618 level or the 50, all right, before you look forward to go long. That is not all. I'm also going to teach you the pattern. You should be looking forward to looking at, at this bottom before you go long, all right, or short. So now let's dive into the real-time example. So now let's say first we want to identify a trend. So from here, we are in obviously in an uptrend, from, judging from here, right, judging from this movement. This is a clear uptrend. Okay, it can happen on any time frame, please. For this, I will also be asking any time frame. It works on all time frames, but kindly keep it in a higher time frame so that you, can, you don't have too much noise to deal with. That's impulse. See correction. All right, 
all to this extent they are all correct all these ones are all correction all right from here again you see an impulse move happened then it's correcting so now let's deal with this let's say price has already gotten to this extent all right now we want to know what level would this get to before it continue to the upside correct so now this is where the Fibonacci tools are very important. You just come click on this icon down here. Make sure you select the Fib retracement. Fibonacci is always starting from the left hand side to the right hand side. From the left to right. So here is a left. You tap it. Then you drag it across so that, so that you get to the high. All right. So once it, the tip here gets to the high, you drop. All right. So let me delete this other drawing. You drop and then you extend it far into the future. So now it touches the high. So remember, the levels that we are looking at for are 50 and 618. 50 and 618. So that simply means if price comes to 618 or 50, we are looking for to take action. So you guys can rightly see that when price got to where 618, what happened? It was exactly on 618 that we had that week, and then price moved up. Boom. Trust me, this strategy works more than 90% of the time. Now, it shouldn't be used as a standalone indication to either go long or short. You have to merge it with other price action. Before I move to the other price action, you have to merge it with. Let me still show you some other examples so that you don't, you don't just think that maybe this one is just luck that like it happened here. Let me show you two more examples. Let's go. So remember, it only happens in a trending situation. In a trending, it happens like, let's say like in a buy market, in a sell market. Here's another one again. Here, we have been able to establish that there's a trend here. Price has moved up, right? There's a trend. This is a low, right? Price moved up, retracement, right? Price moved up here again, it retraced. Price moved up again, retraced. You can see. So this is a low, this is a high. This low is higher than this one, so it's going to be called a higher low. Then this is a higher high, HH. -H. You understand the gist, right? Then then this is a higher low. So all you have to do is to start from the low Fibonacci here and you drop it at the stop. Then you look out for the when when whenever this the higher low get to 618 or 50 or 50 you look for price action there and then you long easy it's also very good for for swing swinging uh swinging for those who swing it's good for all types of traders swinging day trading and all of that so you start from here then you want to drop it at this high all right you drop it at this high good so what level did this price get to so price gets here so immediately price return it retraced and it got to 50 0 0.5 right what happened price started moving up again when you go to 0 0.5 price started moving up again so i look out for 0 0.5 and 618 now the time frame doesn't matter see i've been i've, I've done these two examples on 15 minutes time frame let me now take you guys to one hour time frame to see if it will also work there all right so i just want you guys to know that it's not time frame bound it works on every area that you want to take it to now let me use a sell example let me just look for a sell example first the criteria has to be a training markets condition and then there has to be um a recent high and a recent low and then you're good it's catch it now here's another point again on the on the higher time frame so we've spotted a short term sell is a, a drop price move back up back up and then price came down here and move up again came all the way down and just chopping choppy 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 and then it came back down so you don't have to know this extent of the drop. So you're going to usually starting from your left hand to your right. So this is a high, right? And then this is a low. Then this high is lower than this one. So we call it a lower high. And then this low is lower than this one. So we call it lower low, LL. So we keep having lower high, lower low like that. Lower low, lower high, lower high like that. So our task is to take pick the tool again, this tool. This is a high, right? I drop it here at this bottom. To know the extent, to know the extent where price will retrace back to again. All right? To know the extent where price will, you see, price sometimes can even get to 0 0.786. If price get there, I don't take it. For me, it has to be always, it always has to be 618 or 0 0.5 or 50. So that's the levels that have always been working for me. So it works on a time frame. See, price, Anytime price get back here, you can just be ready to short. Anytime price go back to 50, always be ready to short. To ready to short. That's on a short example. I think I should just look for one more that will be more clearer. Maybe in a very good downtrend. In a very good downtrend. All right. Uh, 
it's very easy to spot, guys. Very simple to spot. Here's another one again. Here's a high, there's a low, right? Here's a lower high, here's a lower low. Then you just pick up a Fibonacci tool again, put it at this high, then spread it to your low, and then make it go into the future. Anytime price get to 50 or 600, you should you see where price get to? Zero, 50 or 600, you see what happened? Price started dropping. Now, talking about the candlesticks that has to happen there. The price, you have to look out for candlestick pattern. There are difference between candlesticks pattern and chart pattern. Now, I'm talking about candlesticks pattern or uh, formation. You can look at it. So, we have morning star. We have evening star. We have uh, bullish engulfing. We have bearish engulfing. Just simple as just doing a Google search. So, you can see some of them. Three white crows, bearish kicking candlesticks. So, the goal is not for you to memorize. There are 37 candlesticks pattern dictionary, all right? It's, the goal is not for you to memorize their name. Just understand the psychology behind them. When this one happened, what should you be expecting? So this is for the bullish kind of reaction. Then it's for the bearish, all right? So we have bullish three line strike. We have rising three methods. We have bullish engulfing, tweezer bottom, morning star. We have three stars in the south, like that. Opposites of the morning star is evening star. Opposites of the bullish engulfing is bearish engulfing. They can just memorize all these kind of sticks. So anytime you see this on in a cell trend, and then you see it on a retracement bearish engulfing candle on top of 600 or 50. This is an indication for you to go short. That's two conferences. Now, what did we see here that would make us to want to go short here on this 0 0.5 example here? What did we see? Now, if you can just go ahead and type that in the comment section, you already, you already understand how this concept works. What, what is this? It's an evening star. Let's go back to this candlestick formation again. What pattern was that? Where there was three, where there was three, like here. This is an evening star. Can you see that evening star? What does evening star represent? It's a reversal. It's a reversal to show that price is about to start dropping. So on this evening star, this was what we saw here. Just check the, the behavior. You see, this is an evening star. So price what did what it dropped. Now let's go back to all these examples that we have been given. All these examples that we've been given to see the kind of patterns, kind of stick pattern that we all saw there before. We take this. This one is kind of shady, like. It's going to take time for me to, I'll need to go to ta lower time frame, but let's see all this other one, one, two, three. So what do we see here? We see a W pattern. Apart from a W pattern, let's go back and see the bullish candle formation that we must have seen here that would have made us to go long. Pretty simple. Now, I love you to look at 15 minutes to see the candlesticks formation, not to look at one hour if you're a day trader, but if you're a swing trader, you can look at the one hour time frame or the bigger time frame. But for me, and my guys, we love to look at the 15 minutes time frame. I'm sure you guys already know by now. So let's go to 15 minutes time frame and spot the candlesticks that we should be looking out for. So this is a candle. Okay, weak rejection price got here. It rejected exactly at the 0 0.5. And boom. Mm -hmm. This is looking like a morning star too. All of them put together. Morning star. All right. So you go back here. You check what is the behavior of a morning star. Somehow like this. Somehow like this, right? this is what we're seeing so you check it again so this is looking like a modern star so then that should already tell you that it's a good point too long and then and that the last one which you did for okay we didn't get here that was the last one like that this that's just you have to measure with candlestick formation trust me you can make tons of money just waiting for this pattern to form and then you should you can make tons of money i mean this made me ten thousand dollars you can just keep doing this over and over and over and over again all right make sure you do not risk too much when this pattern comes and then once price start moving in your favor you can go no you know that you're in an impulsive move right you can start stacking for example let me give you an example of how I would stack this trade all right so if price had go okay yeah here's another example so immediately price go here you see what happened this is also like a, a morning star all right price gets here a lot of noise here a lot of noise dub. after apart from the w pattern i don't want to talk about chart patterns apart from the w pattern you can see Money start happening here, then price to go up. So when the price come back down, anytime rejection, add new position, add new position. For someone who is trading like a five thousand dollars proprietary firm account, obviously the proprietary firm account I recommend is Consumer Trader. Link is also going to be in the description box, and the broker I also recommend is Quaco Markets. The link is also linked in the description box. So when the price get here, for someone who is trading a five thousand dollars account, I would advise that you risk zero point five percent. Now this takes me to the risk management side of things. So you just go to Baby Peeps position size calculator and then you're going to infuse like your account amount you are trading so if your account is more than five thousand dollars all right just put that account there then risk 0.5 percent 
sorry, 0.5 percent, and then put let's say about 20 pips stop loss. No, with Fibonacci trading, 20 pips stop loss might be too unrealistic. So let's do like 30 pips. So you, you're just going to be doing 0.08 divided by three. 0.08 divided, divided by 2, that's going to give us 4. So that should be around 0.2, all right, or 0.27, there about. So you're going to start with 0.27. Anytime price come back down, you enter 0.27, 0.27, 0.27, all right? Anytime you come back down again, 0.27, 0.27, that's how you stack it all the way up, all right? So that's what you should be doing with this strategy. Now, please kindly note, all you have to do with strategies, everything has a losing streak and winning streak. But all you have to do is to make sure you trust in this process even while you are making losses and while you are also making profits. I mean, it's easier to trust the process when you are making profit. But when you are making losses, still trust the process. That's what I'm begging you. All right? So even when it feels that nothing is happen happening, still keep doing it and keep mastering it. Please, do not try to add another indicator to this. The only thing that you want to add to this is make sure you study your candlesticks pattern more and then add the levels. Levels like that, what I'm, I'm not adding to this strategy is just like level psychological levels. So you can watch my other videos around talking on psychological levels purely. So you'll be able to get the strategy 100%. All right. But with this way, you still can trade it 100%. But for some people that don't like psychological level, you cannot use the levels by using support and resistance. So that'll be it for today. If you like this kind of content, please kindly make sure you stick around, hit the subscribe button, and also press the like button so that this video can be recommended to as many people who are also looking for strategy that has an edge in order for them to be cashing out back to back in the financial market. Until next time, see you and bye for now.